Update out of Macon County now. A suspect is in custody after two people were shot in Tuskegee this morning, leading to a standoff with multiple law enforcement agencies. The suspect peacefully surrendered to police after he heard a familiar voice through the megaphone asking him to come out of his apartment. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens spoke with Macon County Sheriff Andre Brunson on how he de-escalated the standoff. Tuskegee police arrested Stanley Dixon Wednesday morning. Court records say Dixon shot and killed his neighbor James Earl Daniel at Lakeshore Apartments on Highway 80, then proceeded to go into the next building over and fired several shots into an apartment unit, grazing a woman who was sitting in her living room with the door open. On his way back to his apartment, Dixon shot at two people who were outside on their porches. Dixon then barricaded himself from police when Macon County Sheriff Andre Brunson was called on scene. Upon my arrival, uh, some of the family members of the suspect stopped me and asked me if I could talk to the brother that he was in the house and wouldn't come out. Brunson said he knew Dixon had a mental illness, so he tried to use the escalation tactics to get him out. You know, I told him that, hey, you know me, I'm the Sheriff Brunson, you know me, come out, I'll meet you halfway. If you just put your gun down, I'll meet you halfway. And I asked him to step out, he stepped the foot out, and then I continued to talk to him and move closer and got him confident enough to talk to me. Dixon peacefully surrendered, which is what Brunson believes is a better end result than using force. We never want to use violence. You know, we see this all over America today where police are using violence to get things done, and we really don't have to do that. Well, Val, Sheriff Brunson says his ability to de-escalate a, a standoff comes from having a rapport with his community, something that he says all law enforcement officers should have for successful community policing.